Pierre Paulus worth a hundred and thirty seven thousand seven hundred and eleven dollars this place is super unique this is our first Windenburg house and I think it's a good one to start off with seeing that there is nobody actually in it no family actually lives here and it's surprising because it is just so beautiful this is one of the only houses where you can actually see the ocean didn't even know there was an ocean in this place <laughs> you can see the pier that is actually named off of too you can't walk on it though <laughs> all right so let's go inside the first thing that greets you is all of that nice stone and a big grand stone staircase a lot of modern art as well everything in this house is a very modern feel The first room, which is the front room, is a lime green with a lot of uh, modern furniture. The flat screen could be bigger, but you can always upgrade. There's enough wall space to definitely upgrade easily. Alright, so let's head on upstairs. The first thing that greets you is the fact that the upstairs is all one bedroom. It's actually a loft, not really a room, and it gives you plenty of privacy because there's nobody else up here but probably you and maybe your spouse. You also get your own television and your own private bathroom, which we're going to take a look at right now. This is a really big bathroom. I love all the modern uh, faucets and toilets. You can take a shower and the bath up here. It's a little dark, but it still matches the dark, kind of cozy atmosphere of the house. Now let's go see that deck. This deck is huge, and look at that ocean view. You're not going to find a view of the ocean that good in the other house. This is beautiful. All right, let's head back downstairs. And the cool thing is we don't even have to go into the house. This has a really nice deck stairwell. I haven't seen that in any other house so far. The only problem with this house is that there is zero yard. You cannot plant here. There is no, there's no greenery. <laughs> okay, so we're back inside. Let's check out the first floor bathroom. This place is huge as well very dark but very big with tall ceilings and plenty of room no shower but you can take a bath in that luxurious looking dark bathtub all right let's head back out and check out some of these bedrooms this is a place where you can start a pretty large family this room can hold one or two people with comfortably actually even comes with its own computer system and charts. The next bedroom, which is right next to this one, you can hold two children and even enough space to put in a nice dollhouse. It's perfect for a big family. All right, let's check out this kitchen. This kitchen is a really open floor plan kitchen, not really a room. And I thought we would make a nice mud bass here. Fish for the pier polis. We usually bake, but I think fish would be more uh, fitting for this house. Everything feels like a fisherman's house. It's not super cozy with fireplaces or old furniture. This feels modern and fresh, but yet dark and snug. And it's really, it cooked up really nice. Everything is super expensive. That's the best fridge and the best oven you can buy. Because it's right next to the fishing pier, you can always have fresh fish. And make as many recipes as you want with it. There's no television to look at though while you eat, which is a little bit inconvenient because you can't really even put any television up, but you can look at that beautiful ocean. I think that's good enough.
all right guys this concludes the pier palace it is one of the most prettiest and uniquest houses you will find in all of windenburg i hope y'all enjoyed it i know i did there's no fireplaces and no yard but that ocean view i think makes up with it and then some okay guys bye